what's your thoughts on today, Glenn? Uh, we came in this morning thinking there was a really good game in prospect. They were one four nine in front overnight, which in our minds meant that a positive session for them this morning or a good start for us. Either way, there was a, a good chance of a, a game, definitely. Um, so, unfortunately, we didn't make early breakthroughs, but um, still expected to be set a score. Really, it was it's a good it's a good pitch, but runs scoring quickly wasn't easy, and there was a good target set to give both teams uh, could have been set to give both teams a chance. So, I'm not really sure what's going on. It's, I mean, we talked last week at Not Nottinghamshire didn't we, about kind of the point structure and how it's, how things have changed this, this season. Maybe trying to encourage more positive cricket, that type of thing. It's the absolute opposite of what we got last week at Trent Bridge. That, isn't it? Yeah, we're trying to play positive cricket. Our scoring rates, I think, we're the highest. We've got the highest run rate for any batting team in Division One. Um, unfortunately, so far with the pitches we've played on and a bit of rain, we've not been able to force a result, but you know that's not down to how we've played our cricket, certainly. We set a, a really good declaration up at Nottingham last week, which, you know, credit to them, they went for from ball one. Um, and if anything, we had too many wickets there too soon, and they had to shut up shop, and we didn't, didn't quite get over the line, but it was a good game of cricket. Today's the opposite. I mean, there's a good game in prospect, and, you know, for some reason, Somerset weren't interested. I've got no explanation for that whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Did it become quickly apparent to you this morning that it, it wouldn't pan out like you kind of hoped it would do? Not that quickly, to be honest, because I would have thought 270, 260, 270 from lunch would have been really challenging, but we'd have gone for it. We'd have probably gone 300, but that would have been a, a slim chance for us on that surface, trying to score that quickly, but we'd have gone for that. Um, and they were, as it were, they didn't take any chances in the morning session. They were still 250-odd on. It would have taken very little more... Um, intent from them to get a really challenging target and and the more you dangle the carrot the more chance both teams have of winning because we'd have gone all the way at a reasonable chase so as i say absolutely no idea what's going on we were up here speculating kind of what about potential declarations and such like so what would you what would you chase 300 off of what what you've been quite keen to have a go at i think what would have been a 50 50 chase would have been about 260. now we don't expect to be set that but we'd have gone for anything up to, I don't know, 320, 330 would have been... But the, the bigger the chase, the more chance there is of you shutting up shop early because it become apparent you can't get them. To make it a really good game of cricket would have been a 50-50 a split. And, you know, we scored at just under four and over, maybe 3.6 or something. They scored at 2.2 .2 for 100 overs in the first innings. So, again, no impetus whatsoever. Uh, they batted 230 overs in the game. You know, I mean, it just looks like we've had two games against Somerset, which have, you know, been impossible to to force results. Yeah, it was the same at Taunton, wasn't it? There's only probably one team trying to win it down there as well. Absolutely, you know, that that's the thing, and the challenge for us, we see we see games around the country with teams bowled out for 75, 90 odd, 120 games over in two and a half days. Now I'm sure we might be involved in some of those later on in the season, but so far um, that hasn't happened. And the intention for these for the point system is for teams to play on good surfaces and go out there and play attacking cricket and score runs quickly. That's absolutely not happening. All we have is some teams desperate for a result at any cost and others not. We mentioned about trying to take 20 wickets here and win and win games games of cricket. You said you might leave a little bit more in the pitch this week. And just, just on, on the, the pitch here, how do you rate the play? Well, the pitch play, I mean, there, there was life in it early. We got a good start. And, you know... The early part of the game is something that we look at. We've played reasonable cricket here, but for us, we know we can play better. So we had them four down early on. We drop catches. We can bowl better. So we're going to look at that. That's all we can really do is how we can identify areas of the game where we could have progressed the match quicker. And really, we, we had an opportunity to bowl them out for early 200s. And then that might have been a different story. So we have to be honest with ourselves and reflect on that part of the game properly. Um, I'd rather forget today completely, to be honest. But, you know, the early part of the game, he was setting up well. We could have played better and we'll, we'll look at that. Your overseas new signings had a pretty decent debut, hasn't he? Yeah, superb. I mean, he bowled really well as well. But, uh, but the way he played uh, under, a, under a bit of pressure, um, superbly. He showed some intent early on and then as his innings got underway, his intent ebbed and flowed. But, you know, obviously he's in, he's in a great 
great nick and he's obviously a good signing for us so I think he's enjoyed three three out of the first four days of his, <laughs> of his Lancashire career anyway. Yeah, that might be a bit bizarre for him today. Yeah. Um, obviously you've been a bowl of light as well, um, what's the situation with, with Jim? Yeah, that was a challenge, I mean Jimmy bowled really well um, first innings. He's just irritated a groin, um, you know, I don't think it's anything too serious, we should be positive about his recovery, um, but obviously it, he'd done it badly enough not to take any part in the game today, today and yesterday. Does that need a scan or anything like that? Or? Well, that's that's now for, for England to sort out, but um, as I said, it's it, it just seems like a tweak growing to me. It's been, you've had obviously him for four games, isn't it now? Four games, yeah. Yeah, so, and of which the three have been away from home, and you've not won any of those. That, how frustrating is that when you've had Jimmy for those games? Well, it, it is. You know, we always say we want to get off to a good start, but all we can really do is reflect on the cricket that we've played, and we've put ourselves in a position to win. Certainly, the away games we've played, and today would have been a 50-50 uh, run chase. Uh, so, you know, there's some strange things that have happened, and you know, we we're still within uh, reach of the top of the table. It'd be a challenge, but. Moving into the main part of the summer, we've got to believe we can go on a run of games and with the team we've got, we can, we can force some results.